Each day at Lemoyne College, we strive for greatness. But always through the eyes of goodness. 19th century author Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, the sky is the daily bread of the eyes. If that is true, then for Jeanette Epps, Lemoyne class of 1992, what lies beyond the sky must certainly be a feast. I don't know her personally yet, you know, but her career is certainly a great achievement. My name is Jeanette Epps. I am a Lemoyne grad, and I am a part of the astronaut class number 20. I was selected in 2009. Something about her name and her story just really kind of resonated with me, and I thought, I have heard of her before. It was a long time ago that I was in your seat. I was extremely awkward and shy, but I was bursting with faith that I could be successful. What is the percentage of individuals that have become astronauts? Then what are the percentage of individuals who are women who have become astronauts? And then to either, to, to further reduce that to the number of female African Americans who have become astronauts and such a traditionally male dominant field and it just blew my mind. For many years I was afraid to be the person that I knew was in me because it wasn't standard. It ignored all of the norms. She started to kind of hear those self-doubts in her head, and then she kind of pushed them aside and said, why not me? That's what really resonated with me when she said, why not me? My first semester here, I got a 2.55, and I realized that I never learned how to study in high school. And so Lemoyne started challenging me in different ways. Seeing Jeanette Epps, the astronaut that graduated from Lemoyne, kind of reinvigorated the spark that was in me when I was a little kid. If I could say something that would flip that switch in a kid like Gerald's mind, that, that would be, um, one of my biggest goals and hopes. She inspired a generation of young dolphins to follow their passions and their dreams. And now, effective next year, she'll be the first ever dolphin in space. At Lemoyne College, we're expanding the world by eliminating boundaries. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind.